Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just finished watching Victory and Death from the Clone Wars. The very final, final episode. And I just want to give you two sets. First, I'm going to talk non-spoilers just for a quick minute. And then I will warn you when I go into spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet. So, first off, uh, if you're new here, this is the Drunk 3PO channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. If you really, really, really like the video, I got this weird applause button that YouTube gave me. If you're on PC, you'll see it down there. And uh, give it a little clap. There you have it. Uh, so, first, non-spoiler. Non-spoiler. Uh, I would give this episode an A. This last uh, arc, these last four episodes have been fantastic. The cinematography has been great. The music has really set the tone uh, for me. And I will say that the episode before was my favorite, was my absolute favorite. Uh, a lot of people like the lightsaber duel with the Soka Maul better or some other episodes. I really like this one um, before. Right when Order 66 takes place, I, I don't know. I just loved seeing the emotion and the change and everything. And like everyone's just kind of like in shock. Everyone's like in shock. What is happening? What is going on here? And and so this episode here just, just kind of picks up right where we left off uh, before. There was a lot of emotion. And the ending for me was, wow. The ending for me was, it took me by surprise. I didn't expect that. And they gave it to me, so I would I would give this episode an A, um, and and I I I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy it too. I hope you enjoy it too, and let's let me I I'm about to slip here, so I'm gonna go right into spoilers. So here we go, spoilers. If you don't want to hear spoilers, that's it. I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds to stop the video. Spoilers. Ah. The episode begins with Darth Maul, Ahsoka Tana, and Rex. They're still on this giant ship, you know, and they're trying to figure out how to get off. They know the clones and everyone's after them, trying to kill them, trying to, uh, yeah, they, 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 they need to kill them. They need to kill these people. You know, there's no capture anymore. It's, it's execute. Execute Order 66. So you see Darth Maul, he's like, I got to stop the ship. We're in hyperspace. If it gets to its destination, I'm done. I'm done. So he goes into the engine room and, and disrupts and destroys the hyperdrive, you know, and whatever else is in the engine. The clones are coming after him while he's just using the force and pulling these uh, engine parts. And he's just throwing them at the clones and destroying them. There's a couple cool scenes where, where Maul, again, is uh, just taking out the clones with whatever he has. And that's it. So now the hyperdrive is deactivated. They stopped. The captain on the bridge is like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? And it looks like the ship is, is heading into orbit of a planet. Then you get into Ahsoka and Rex, and they're just like, we got to get out of here. And Rex, not that he's having a meltdown, but he's more like saying, we just, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to kill all of them, and we're going to get out of here. And Ahsoka like calms him down and is like, listen, it's not their fault. I don't want to kill them. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. So we're going to figure out a way to get out. And let's do that. And Rex was like, okay, let's do this. So Rex, so they, 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 all the clones show up, Jesse and all the clones. So Rex, uh, acts like he has captured Ahsoka Tano has, you know, has his blaster, you know, to her head and Ahsoka's got her hands up and they're walking out to Jesse and Jesse's like, all right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna execute her. Right. And, 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 and Rex begins to try to convince Jesse's like look we're supposed to kill the Jedi Ahsoka's not really a Jedi anymore she hasn't been part of the Jedi order for quite some time and Jesse kind of like the new commander of the clones is kind of like uh but didn't Palpatine say we were supposed to we're supposed to kill Ahsoka right Palpatine saying and Rex is trying to like convince him no no she's not a Jedi anymore and if we get this wrong if we mess this up then we're going to be the ones in trouble all right we got to get this right this is a serious matter and then something clicked in Jesse, and Jesse's like, no, 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 you know what, Rex, you're helping the enemy, so we're arresting you, you're going to be executed, and we're going to execute Ahsoka Tana. Now, in the meantime, Ahsoka's little droids, R7, and I forget the names of the other one, forgive me if I forget the names of the planet and the ships, I just turned the episode off. And the little droids went to where they needed to go, and, and remember, they're all in the hangar bay. So the droids figured out that they could leverage certain parts of the hangar bay to remove people, you know, kind of like trap doors, you know, and, and just moving things, compartments up and down. So they do that, and they were able to remove almost half of the clones uh, right there. And then Ahsoka gets her, you know, her blades, 
and Rex is using the stun on his guns to take out the clones and they're running for the ship. They get to a ship and Darth Maul kind of gets on there first. And so when Darth Maul powers up the ship, you know, and he takes off and Ahsoka's like, ah! So Ahsoka uses the force to try to pull Darth Maul back. So she's trying to pull the vehicle back Reminiscent in episode 9 with Ray <laughs> trying to pull it back. I honestly, it was kind of a cool episode. You know, uh, excuse me, not a cool episode, a cool uh, sequence. And and she's struggling, you know, and Rex is struggling trying to hold the clones. And he's like, I can't hold off these clones anymore. So Ahsoka just lets Maul go. Maul gets in the ship. He's gone. He's done. That's it. He's done. We don't see him again until, you know, the next series, uh, until Rebels. So they're holding off the clones, and the uh, little R2 droids are doing their thing. They're moving compartments here and there, moving cl clones out of their way, and they get caught. So the clone troopers find these droids, and they look like they're trying to give up, and they're just blasted right in the face. <laughs> All the droids, they're just blasted, man. Just point blank, boom, 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 they're done. End of their story, they're done, and so on. Now it goes back to the uh, bridge. It goes back to the bridge, and the commanders are trying to get control of the ship, and they're just like, there's too much damage, I can't control the ship, and the bridge blows up. So now the ship is in a serious free fall onto this planet. And it, it's just being destroyed. So everyone's like sliding on the ship, and, and things are blowing up, and things are breaking up. And, it, and, and in the meantime, before all those, there was some high-powered action um with ahsoka and rex trying to defend off the clones and and different things like that so there was a lot of action in this rex gets on a ship but he's got to take off because the whole thing is caving in. he takes off and ahsoka jumps she's like out you know and she uses the force to kind of pull herself onto the ship and that is when the episode i i, I went quickly that is when the episode really got into i don't know got into his emotions got into his feels got into whatever but there really wasn't much dialogue after that. The ship crash and the music, man. I'm just saying, for me, the music is everything. The music just draws you in. The ship just crashes. And then the next few scenes, Ahsoka and Rex get out. And it looks like they bury the dead. And they take all those uh, trooper helmets. And they stick them on like uh, tombstones. And it's just, it's just quiet. All you hear is music, you know? And it looks like Ahsoka, she's got her hoodie on, you know, that, that you see at the end of Rebels. And um, she looks at her lightsabers and she just lays it there with the, uh, with, with the dead. Kind of like she faked her own death. And just the look on her face and Rex and they're just like, the world is like so different now. And it's just quiet and they get in their ship and they're, they take off. And then it happened. Then, then they gave us a scene. You know, they gave us a scene that just tugged on my feels, you know. Um, Darth Vader's ship, it, it, it must have been, I don't know how much time passed. There was some time that passed. And Darth Vader gets out of a ship. Not a word is spoken. Not a word is spoken. It's very quiet. Darth Vader's on that planet. You can see most of the, uh, the troopers' helmets have all been covered up. There's like one that's kind of sticking out that's got the Ahsoka paint on it. And he walks over there, it's just real quiet. The music is just pulling you in and he finds Ahsoka's lightsaber and he's just kind of standing there. And uh, he ignites the blue blade. And it's just the music and everything, it just hits you, man. It just like hits you. Uh, and and that's basically it. And he stops and he kind of looks up and sees a ship and, and that's like it. That's it, that's the end of the Clone Wars. That's the finale and I honestly, Listen, people are going to disagree with me. My friends are going to disagree with me. I have friends that just can't stand the Clone Wars. I'm just saying for me, and this is just my opinion, it was a perfect ending. And they didn't even need these other episodes. They just needed these last four. I think they just did these last four. It would have been fine. They didn't even need those filler episodes or those episodes with some weird arc in it. They didn't need it. They just These last four were like they were hitting everything for me as far as Star Wars. Um, I, I loved it. I loved the ending. I still love Shattered was my favorite episode probably of all time. I don't know. I guess the whole uh, Order 66 and seeing everything shift and just like, you know, the confusion and the emotion and everything. I just I, I really love that. Um, this one was just the Vader scene was very emotional, very impactful. And uh, I, I just thought it was awesome. I just thought it was awesome. I thought it was a perfect end. 
Like, like, like the Clone Wars ended. Like that was it. I'm like, this is awesome. It's done. Like I, it's awesome. And I, and I personally think it's a pair. It's a good pairing, um, with Episode Three. That's just me. You could disagree if you want, and that's totally fine. Now, listen. If you've seen the video, if you've seen the episode, uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Let me know if you liked it, or you can say, nah, Jay, I hated it, man. I hated it. It's just Rex Star Wars. Let me know. It's fine. It's fine. We could disagree. We could disagree. We don't always have to agree on everything. Something I like, something might be something you don't like, and that's all right. But that's the video, guys. Thank you for checking it out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode of Clone Wars. Ah, this is Jay with the Drunk 3PO channel. I'll catch you next time.